if you are watching this video I know by sure you are starting your career as a network engineer and then you want to know how to connect network devices in a topology or in a network environment in this video I'm going to show you how to connect um, network devices using GNS3 or package user any of which you are comfortable with they are all network simulation environments they allow you to practice on Cisco CLI and then connect nodes and do basic to advanced configurations before you can practice in the real world so in this very short video I'm going to see how we are going to see how to connect our um, basic network devices like servers um, PCs switches and routers okay so let's go ahead and I'll start with GNS3 or let me start with Cisco Tracer packet tracer and then from there we we'll head on to GNS3 to see how to connect network devices so this is how packet tracer looks like and then I know by sure you have um, installed it on your local PC so let's go ahead and see what we have here we have networking devices we have um, routers, we have um, switches, we have um, hubs. Hubs are not used in modern ne day networking because um, it causes a lot of um, collision. And we have wireless devices, and then we have security. Security is um, Cisco ASC firewall. And then also we have a um, cloud over here. Here we have end devices, which such as um, home devices. We have PC, laptop, etc. And then we have um, components, etc. So starting off uh, with our basic connectivity, we are going to connect our um, two PCs to a switch. So in our everyday environment, we are going to see a switch, and definitely we are going to have some PCs connected down the line to form our local area network. So. This is what um, this is uh, logically how network is being planned uh, before physically is being installed in our local office or home. So without wasting much time, let's go to connections. We'll pick a um, crossover cable. We connect our PC to fast Ethernet zero to switch. We plug into the port. Pick another cable. Plug into the port zero so let's take a look at how switch look like so this is how our switch look like and I'm sure as a networking um, professional anybody who is entering into networking you are very much aware of how a switch is right so each of these is a cable connected to the switch so we have our cable connected to uh, sorry, zoom in. One of these holes, fast Ethernet zero, fast Ethernet zero one. Each of these cables is being connected. So that's basically how to connect um two devices using um Cisco packet tracer. Here is GNS3, um, my favorite simulated env simulation environment because it allows me to do m most things in real life. Um, just like being in a production field so just like we connected them um, in the packet tracer we can do same here here we have our Cisco layer 2 switch we have our PCs over here virtual PCs um, choose a server and put another PC over here so the connections are here we connect our PC to fast Ethernet 0 to fast Ethernet 0 on the switch same applies to this one and there we go now one thing in genus 3 is that um whatever network device that you pick after dragging and dropping it on the canvas you have to start it if you don't start you will never see the device working all the devices will never work let me show you so i want to go to the i want to configure my virtual pc so these are the basic um, configurations that it has but in order to start all devices in your canvas or your topology you have to click on this play button or start or resume 
to resume or start all notes and as you can see it's working very well so basically that's how to connect um devices in um these um, simulated environments so we can go ahead and add a cisco router this is cisco c3 uh, 3725 router we can also connect it to fast Ethernet 02 on fast Ethernet 00 then we can also start it so this is how it looks like in our local area networks you have our router which, connect direct, which connects directly to uh, <laughs> Our switch and then our switch distributes the traffic or the bandwidth to the local computers in the local network in other wireless devices so we can go ahead and do the same to Cisco packet tracer we can um, put um, our router here and connect um, our devices The reason why it's showing in red is because there is no gateway configured on the router and then as we move on we will see how to do some basic configurations on the router how to set up interfaces and everything okay thanks for watching this, vi this video see you in the next video